how might this particular practice, this practice of tuning in to bare sensation and watching the sensations come and go, and then secondly, watching the subsequent either aversion, moving away from to those sensations or attaching to other pleasant sensations, how might that be useful as we work with PVD going forward? So one of the ideas here is, um, and it's certainly been supported by a lot of the research that's looked at mindfulness and chronic pain, is that, and I've said this a few times, is that tuning into the sensations is actually more effective than tuning out and ignoring or distracting or avoiding. And in part, it's because when we tune in and notice just sensation and we try and let go of all the associated thoughts and storylines and emotions, then we find that we can actually tolerate the sensation. Okay, so number one, we can tolerate the sensation. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly, without the activation of all the thoughts, the emotions, the sadness, the mourning, the story around the PVD, because of all those interconnections in the brain, the pain center itself is actually getting less input. Okay? So the idea is, is that the, the, the distress that PVD creates can significantly be lessened and in turn, the intensity of the PVD can lessen. So it's sort of an indirect way of reducing pain sensation by first dealing with thoughts, emotions, storylines, et cetera, et cetera, suffering in general. Those connections between the emotion center, pain center, thinking center, motivation center, and the brain change through this kind of practice.